Nick and Tara here, oh. and we are at the Media Indie Exchange Party here. Or mix. Yes, Mix at IGN's offices. They have a bunch of indie games here on display. They do. What is a good one that you have seen today? A good one that I have seen is a game called Roundabout, which is a game where you are a taxi driver in a taxi that is never not rotating. Okay. And you I are. It's. Like it gets better. It's also Crazy Taxi. Okay. It gets better. It's also open world. So you are going all over the city anywhere you want in a rotating limousine. And it's basically this, it's like this Japanese game called Kuririn that came out on the GBA, except for no Americans know about it. So it's taking advantage of that. And it's super weird. And there's lots of full motion video cutscenes with real human beings. It's, it's the weirdest thing ever. It's by a company called No Goblin, who's like a weird indie studio. Is it one of those games where it's just like a game for the sake of being a game? Or is yes. there like an actual like real goal? With there it? is none percent story, but there are objectives. Like okay. there's stuff to do. It's really colorful and goofy, and I want to like get really good at it, which is a good instinct, I think, to have. Yes, I agree. Uh, speaking is, of games with objectives, I played Video Ball, which... That is a game with an objective. It is. It is, I guess, kind of like a mix between Geometry Wars and soccer. It's it's yeah. super simple, super pared down. You basically just play as like two teams of two. Two teams and, of two triangles. And there are, yeah, two teams of two triangles, and there are two balls in the middle, and you try to kick the ball into the other side, but you can't touch the ball, right. or you, you will sort of like go into a desensitized state, I guess, where you, you can't get stunned, move. Right. Yeah, you get stunned. Did you play this game? I, I feel did. like you know a lot about it. It is. It's it's esports. It's really fun, right? Hardcore Tim Rogers esports coming right to you from the man who made Ziggurat. It's really, really straightforward, and you immediately get it within 30 seconds of playing it. Yeah, it is. It's a really good co-op game. I went in there and I was like, "Huh, what's this?" And then like, somehow I wound up there for like three matches. Yeah. People behind me in line were getting really upset. You get really competitive really yeah. fast. It's um, impossible not yeah. to. Yeah. Um, another game that had a really long line here actually, Hyperlight Drifter. Yes. This is one of the stars of the show here. For sure. I think. Yeah. Kickstarter um, darling, Hyperlight Drifter. Yes. Absolutely gorgeous game. Yeah. Pixel art, the colors, everything is beautiful. It's, it's, you know what I didn't expect to like as much? Because it's obviously visually gorgeous, but it sounds so nice. It's Disaster Piece, the guy who did the music from Fez yeah. and a bunch of other stuff. And he just, that guy's music sets such an atmosphere. You, it's so atmospheric. It's, um, it's really, really pretty. Um, and then um, Bo Blythe, the guy who did Samurai Gun, is kind of in charge of, he said, game feel for it. So the reason the combat and the slicing feels so nice is because he's a dude who's great at that, obviously. Okay. Um, it's fun. Yeah, it's I had good. no idea what I was doing when I picked that game up. Yeah. And then I, I asked you, I was like, is there a tutorial for this? They refused to tell us, actually. Well, I asked, and he was like, you'll figure it out. So. I know, and then I, I kept dying, and I was like, well, maybe I maybe I should know this. Yeah. I don't know, I, but it was really fun, yeah. absolutely gorgeous. I want to explore that world a lot more. Yes, me too. Um, let's see, what else is there here? There's a Nova 111, which is a really kind of a hard game to describe, but it's sort of like a... It's a roguelike, except for it's really, really not a roguelike because they built all the levels in advance. But basically, you're exploring through this fog of war, like 2D, turn-based, bump into dudes to attack them, minimalist roguelike. But there's real-time elements. So if you walk under, like for example, a stalactite, it'll fall down in real time. Huh. Or there are enemies that attack you in real time. So even though it's turn-based, you have to go kill them before they kill you because they kill you within a few seconds. Describing indie games is one of my favorite things ever yeah. because... It's like you you just can't... You can't do you it without can't coming across as a crazy person. You but. really can. Um, but, of course, there are going to be a ton more games here and right. games that we're going to be seeing throughout the week at GDC. GDC. So if there's anything you guys want to see... And is, that, what, is that Rami oh, from Flambeer? Oh, hey. Hi. Hey. What are, oh, how, how are you? Good. Uh, good. Hi. Hi. Uh, yeah, hi. Independent video games today. Uh, yeah. Uh, Night in the Woods is pretty good. Uh, ha have you heard of this game? I think it's like L Luft... Trousers or something? Uh, yes, we're going to be launching that tomorrow. I'm really, really nervous about that. That's your game. Yeah, that's my game. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited. It's uh, it, we've been working on it for two and a half years, so I'm I'm really nervous, but I'm happy. I'm excited. It's about time. Thank you for walking into our video randomly. I'm so sorry. That was not oh, that was not planned at all, guys. That's GDC. This is one of the stars.